Hello there! So today, I'm sure you guessed it by now, but I'm going to be showing you around Bellagio and Tuvarena. And they're both in Lake Como in Italy, and the nearest city is actually in Milan. And it's very easy to get to, but I'll get back to you on that on tip number one. And also, I'm going to be showing you things to do, places to visit, as well as food recommendation, i.e. restaurant recommendation, which is very important. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Courtney, and I do travel, food, and recipes from around the world. And if you like my content, which I hope you do, I appreciate a subscribe and a like. And of course, do leave a comment because I love hearing from you guys. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful. And thank you. If you're wondering how to get to Bellagio, well, think no more. The nearest city is Milan. And from there, take a train from Milan Central to San Giovanni Station at Como City. And from there, you walk about 10 minutes to the ferry station and you take an express or slow ferry to Bellagio. Now, another way is obviously you can rent a car if you have a driver's license. And just be careful, there are lots of little alleyways like here with lots of people, especially during the summer times and parking might be a bit tricky. Or if you feel like splashing out, you can hire one of these private boats and get your Instagram shots. Alternatively, there's always the bus. It's cheap, it's cheerful, it's got AC, and it gets you to Bellagio. One of the best ways to explore Bellagio is to explore the streets and just walk around the little alleyways and just be amazed by these beautiful houses. And you cannot miss this street. You literally can't. It's lined with shops and restaurants and cafes and it takes you all the way down to the waterfront promenade. And my only advice here is to wear really comfortable shoes. Okay, this is so random, but go shopping! And yes, I actually did say go shopping because even the locals do their shopping here. And you can get hats and clothes and suits and apparently Bellagio and Como is famous for their silk. I never knew this, but they have told me so. And while you're here, get your souvenir shopping done and get these little cute lemon chilla bottles or oil and vinegar as well and they tend to come in pairs. Number four, grab coffee and pastries because you're in Italy and coffee here is just to die for. It's so, so good. Get a latte, an espresso and definitely get some croissants. Number five is this Basilica di San Giacomo. Excuse my pronunciation, but this is a church and it's still a working church and it's free to enter as well. It is how you locate it is when you climb up the stairs initially in the beginning opposite the ferry, you turn left. You don't turn right, you turn left. Now, when you enter here, please be aware that of course it is still a working church and you need to be respectful, but it is beautiful inside as you can see here and you can have a moment of to yourself. Number six, eat perch risotto at the Belasquez restaurant. Now, this restaurant was recommended to us by a local here and they have this wonderful seating area outside and it overlooks that street that goes all the way down to the promenade now mind you it does get really busy and make sure to book in advance or come early they also give you this bread basket and it actually cost us four euros fifty when we thought it was free so just double check However, their grilled fish with roasted potatoes is just wonderfully cooked. It is not fishy at all and super flaky. And this is their famous perch risotto, which is a local fish here. It's a small kind of fish and the risotto is super creamy and wonderfully cooked. I have to put this in here because I found it difficult in the beginning. But the flush, if you're washing your hands, is on the bottom of the, on the floor. And then when you're going into the toilet, just be aware that the flush is not where you normally look at. It is at the corner, that big round black one. It's probably more hygienic. Number eight, take a tourist train. This is also called the Bellagio Express. And it's just another nice way to explore Bellagio and its surrounding areas. I think it's operating during the summer periods. And you can, if you're short on time, this is the best way to do it as well. And you can hop on and hop off. Number 9. Stroll along the waterfront promenade. If you walk along the lakeshore in the southwestern direction from the harbor, you'll find some of the nicest views of Bellagio. Walk down this pathway lined with these gorgeous trees and just enjoy that sunshine and the views of the mountains around you and watch all the boats coming in and soak in the atmosphere. 
number 10 take a boat ride to Verona now when you're in Bellagio even if you're here for only a day trip or if you have a few days you have to visit Verona it is truly unmissable it's only about 20 minutes by boat and it's quite frequent as well and it's very charming it's like time has stood still here number 11 walk the lover's pathway now grab your loved ones your family anyone you love and walk along this pathway which goes from the ferry terminal at Verena and goes all the way up to Verena's old town and here you can enjoy the beautiful scenery let's get some ice cream number 12 you must have a gelato it is practically said not to here I got the cherry gelato with the brioche bun which I don't recommend because the bun was a bit dry but on gelato on its own to die for Number 13, roam around Verena's Old Town. I have to warn you, it is very charming here. All these beautiful houses and all these winding alleyways filled with cafes and shops as well. And just keep in mind, it's also a residential area. And I'll put more things to do in Verena in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and find the tips useful as well. And if you have been to Lake Como before and you have more tips and more suggestions, I appreciate it if you drop a little comment below with your suggestions as well because, you know, sharing is caring. And on that note, I will see you in the next video. You have a good one, guys. Bye.